Welcome back everybody. There ain't no day like delivery day. Delivery day today is my new custom Fazari wire peak. So here's how they come if you guys have never ordered one. I was lucky enough to get a showroom model so I got a smoking deal on it and a bunch of extras thrown in and couldn't be happier about it. This will be my first e-bike. So I'm going from this machine here, Carbon Da Vinci, which you've seen in my other videos. To this machine here so we'll see hopefully i can keep up with my eight-year-old from now on but so we'll start with the smaller box first here's how it comes right on the top here scan for your manual other things um, this came fedex it shipped really fast it got here in like two days for fedex ground which is kind of amazing um, this is how it came i have not taken anything out yet i do not know what is in any of these boxes Tubes. I did get tubeless thrown in. There's a water bottle. What is this? There's my Fazari pedals. You know, some people are interested in seeing how things are boxed and packed and shipped. So this is for you. Oh, buddy. That is sweet. Let's go ahead and set that against my three wheeler. Feels like it's going to need a little bit of air. There we go. Very nice. My first bike with 29s. Pretty excited about that as well. Get that sitting here so it doesn't touch anything. Okay, anything else in box number one? Does not appear to be. Okay. So, we'll move on to box number two. Actually, before we do that, I want to see what's in these. So, let's have a look-see. We've got a tube. Got another tube. We've got, this here looks to be the water bottle holder. That looks really nice. And the last thing in this bag is the charger, or the off-the-bike charger, they call it. Let's see what that looks like. There's not too many videos of people unboxing these things. I'm not quite sure why. Well, that's kind of an interesting thing. I'm assuming that the plug-in to plug to charge the bike will go into that, and then this will hook to your battery. So my uneducated guess right there. I wonder what this is for. Anybody know what that's for? It's a magnet. Oh, I bet that's for the speedometer. This is all new to me, right? So I'm learning. Bag number two has nothing. Okay, in here, there's a lot of stuff. Make some space. Rock stock sticker, some info about stuff. Make sure you guys are still in the frame, which you are. Um, I don't know what this is for. Info about stuff. More info about stuff. Here's some basic tools. You got some Allens and a little wrench of some sort there. Just a bunch of paperwork about things. Here's some info on the Shimano E7000 motor that's on this one box here is some sort of funky little tool i don't know what all these are, are these protectors or something here's some reflectors and brackets here's some oil of some sort or something grease maybe and then a couple little Things. I'm not sure what they are for, but there's a bunch of these little diesel deals in there. Info on the Fazari. Here's your quick assembly guide. Let's have a look at that. Seat post, handlebars, front wheel, pedals. Get out and ride. I 
of little things. What's a fusion? I don't even know what that is. Fusion products, oh, fork and shock control, dirt jumping, fusion owner's manual. Well, not sure what that is. Here's the Fazari owner's manual. This must be the charger is my guess. Looks like it, here's that plug. So here's what an e-bike charger looks like. You got your power cord plugs into there. Then this plugs into the bike or the um, battery adapter. It says here, disconnect AC power before unplugging. Okay. And important safety instructions. That's all that you get in that box. Now the pedals. I opted for their pedals while I was going for it. They gave me a deal on them. They look really nice, Got grease or oil coming out of them. Here's what they look like to you guys. Never mind my noisy cat. Should work fine, I think. Thank you, Fazari. Then obviously the water bottle. locks pretty hard good all right let's move on to the big box okay the big box this obviously has the frame and everything in it first thing you see when you open which is really cool brady even got my name on it gotta love it thanks dude i really appreciate that and here's how it's packaged now I did glance in it just to make sure everything was kosher. The FedEx guy did everything but had the right side up. I think it's labeled on here. Maybe not. Somewhere on here I thought it said this side up, right? Well, he had it sitting on its end. It's apparently been upside down and beat pretty hard. You can see where the seat has beat into the top here. So I'm hoping that cleans up some. Looks like it probably should. It's an interesting seat. Um... Here's how it comes, really not much to it. I can see where it's banged against the back of the box there, but it's in there. So let me get you guys on a stand and we'll pull that bad boy out. All right, before we get too excited here, I just want you to know this is a 2022 YRP model. This was a showroom. Um, so I got some good stuff on it, but I got the pedals, I got the off bike charger, I got the deluxe um, guards for it. Um, Fazari water bottle and holder. Um, I did get the dropper post as well. And I went tubeless. And I think that's all I can think of. So let's get to unboxing. Okay. This comes right out. It's a lot heavier than my carbon bike. <laughs> that's for sure. Anything else in here? I don't think so. It looks like it used to be Velcroed or something on the side, but the Velcro was not even put around the bike because it's Velcroed back onto itself, so I guess it wasn't very needed. But look at that. It's kind of an inspection from beating around in the box. These must be the frame protectors that you get as these little pieces all over. I don't really know. That's my guess. A bunch here on the sides. My first e-bike, I've never, I've never ridden one. I'm not even sure I've ever really touched one, to be honest with you. Pretty excited. All right, well, let me get some of this packing stuff off here and we'll see what the heck you get. No, I do not have a fancy bike stand, unfortunately, so I'm going to do this old school.
So step one in the manual says to install the seat post, but that's already done because they put a dropper in it for me. So step two is attaching the handlebars. And I think once I get those on, I'll be able to flip it upside down and it'll stay on the uh, rug and then we can do the rest of the things. So it looks to me like the fork is backwards. So we're gonna flip that around. Um, so the stem's pointing the right way and then we'll put the handlebars on. Close enough for now until I can kind of get it set and sitting on it and see what feels right. But these are all different angles. Not sure how they set that up. But I'll snug it up so it doesn't twist. Then we'll move on to the next spot. But once you do snug it up finally, I think you'd want your gap the same on the top and bottom, which mine feels pretty close. But I just want it loose enough to where it doesn't uh, doesn't spin and scratch anything. Okay, next step will be installing the front wheel. Um, I noticed there is a piece of Velcro around here holding the, the fork down, so I'm gonna release that and see what happens. Looks like nothing. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was gonna spring up or what was gonna happen. So, okay, I gotta put a bunch of air in there. But let me get this out. Looks like we're gonna need an Allen probably. I figured it would have quick release on it. I'm kind of surprised it doesn't. And uh, then we'll put the front tire and wheel on. One thing it does say, there is a plastic piece here in the brakes, which they put in there to keep it from collapsing during shipping. I guess I'm just going to snug her up a little bit here. And then that's it for that. So front wheel's on, now let's move on to the rear. All right, well the manual goes right from install the front wheel to installing the pedals. So nothing about the rear wheel. So I guess we'll just uh, wing that one. Ooh. Piece of plastic held it apart. There's that and that. And then there is another uh, plastic spacer here in the brakes, so we'll pull that out. Make sure to not pull your brake pedal. You'll have a bad day. stop or go through it. There's a button on here that will hold that open. If you get to the right spot. There we go. It's coming back to me slowly. Now we'll get that to go in. Release that. And then there's that. Okay. Yeah, probably shouldn't do that. It jumped off the other sprocket there. There we go. Now we got it lined up. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. All right, pedals I think will be next. So the pedals also, okay, it takes the big Allen. It's so weird that the chain doesn't move when you do that. Okay, this pedal goes that way. They're right in the left thread. There's a right and a left thread. So you want to make sure you get the right one in the right side. So this says right. This would be the right side. So yeah, I luckily grabbed the right one right out of the gate. Well, we got her upside down here. I'll show you some things up close. So again, the pedals are in place. The weirdness of things not turning. <laughs> So that 
must be the sensor for, there it goes. Kind of interesting. Again, this is all new to me. We'll see how these uh, treads do locally here. Brakes. So down here is the uh, rebound adjustment in that shock. I guess you just twist this little thingamajigger. Bolt in that one. Got a guard on the bottom here. Okay, let's flip this beast over. All right, inflate fork to 140 PSI. That's what we're gonna do. I'm using my gyro air pump here. I did a review on that. Um, be sure to check out my video on that. So let's get that installed and see how that works. Flip the switch. She's moving. 20. There's 140. Okay, we're there. All right, we'll put the cap back on. And that takes care of that. Yeah, we don't need this anymore. All right, I got all the controls and stuff set and the handlebar set to how I like. So you want the gap even there, top and bottom, and then crisscross your bolts when you tighten them. Um, I had to adjust this over just a little bit to get the handlebars perfectly centered. I think I got everything how I like it. I'll have to go for a little ride and try it. I may have flipped that down a little bit more yet. Um, these ones here were flipped up higher than what those were. Maybe that's whoever set it up like theirs. Um, it has this odd wire hanging loose here. Not quite sure where it goes. I think it goes into the control thing here. Because it looks to me like there is focus. There's another hole in this thing that it looks like it'll go into. So I'm going to secure the wire up somehow and then stick it in there. All right, so I just routed that wire kind of around the other one so it wasn't flailing out in the breeze. And um, it did clip into the other slot in there. You gotta push it pretty good and then it snaps. So that's good. Um, I think we're about to the point of turning it on if I can figure out how. I'm not the biggest fan of how all these cables kind of hang out funny, but I don't know, is that normal? Or should I have given, given the handlebars a twist or something? Half twist on the upstroke probably don't want to tie those up because you want them to be free but um, yeah sweet all right since I've never had one of these before it does say to charge it fully charge the battery before you go for your first ride so I'm gonna do that but I am gonna turn it on um, because I'm curious just to see what the battery level is and stuff and how things work so more assist, less assist here on figure F. Um, the power button there. Make sure there's no pressure on the pedals and push the power button and it should turn on. Turn it off, hold it for three seconds. So equal trail boost, walk assist. That's interesting, very cool. All right, yada yada, get out there and ride. So here's how that charger thing goes. All right, let's turn it on for the first time. So the power button. First time I've ever turned one of these on. Battery is very low. I'm just gonna toggle through the buttons here just to see what it does. So then you gotta go down. Off. Okay, easy enough. All right, let's get this bad boy on the charger. I am so excited to go for a ride on this. Um, hopefully it'll have enough time to charge before it gets dark, but I don't think so. So tomorrow's supposed to rain. There we go, three seconds. And uh, who knows when I'll get to ride it. Um, I'm kind of stoked to uh, get this bad boy out, but uh, let's charge it up and we'll come back with my first ride around the yard. 
All right, plug it in there. Now we'll plug this in. Got a red light. Oh, that thing's doing something. What's it doing? I guess nothing. Just letting you know something's happening, I guess. Be cool if there was a battery indicator on there as you're using it. But um, red light on there is flashing. I'm assuming it'll be green when it's done. So I'm going to check the tire pressures and uh, just kind of learn a little more about it while we're waiting. Almost forgot my water bottle holder. Got to have that. Seems good. Let's shove the bottle in there. Sweet. So excited. I cannot wait. All right, so the caps say on them what they are. It's like 10 Newton meters, it says for that one. That one, it said like, I'm trying to remember, 9 to 13 and a half, but it gave inch pounds on that one, which was 80 to like 130. So I'm going to go, I got my inch pound deal. I'm at 90. So I'm just going to torque them to 90 for now and see how that works out. This one already did. So we're right there. Now I'll do the front wheel. That fits this one. And we're good. We're already there. One other little thing I noticed is you've got, you know, your up and down assist. And then here you have your display toggle so you can toggle through things when it's powered up, not when it's charging apparently. But And then also for the walk assist, if you hold this one all the way down, then you can adjust the speed for when you're not on it and it'll just help power you. All right, so something I'm noticing with the charger here, when I first plugged it in, it would just flash one red light every once in a while. Then it would do two, now it's doing three. So I wonder if that means we're at three quarter charge. I'm just not sure, I gotta do some research because the manual doesn't say like, can you turn it on while it's charging or should you or shouldn't you? You know, I don't wanna screw anything up here. Got four flashes, we're getting close. Still nothing on there. We're up to five blinks. It's eight o'clock at night. It's been hours. Still nothing on there. All right, there we are. Finally hit full charge. It's 9.40 p.m. Oh, even the dash went out, so it is done. It is late, it is dark. Hopefully it's not raining tomorrow and we'll give her a rip. Okay, it's 9.51 here. Is that military time though, I wonder? I hope that's not AM. Let's check that one again. It is military. So it's 21.51. There we go, what other options we got here? Font color? Really? White, black. We'll just stick with what it had. Exit. I don't want to screw nothing up. I don't know enough about it. That's cool. So again, you push the buttons. Eco. Trail. Boost. Off. All right, tomorrow we're going to give it a shot. Let's cross our fingers. It's not raining. All right, it's time. It's the next morning. It's fully charged. It's not raining yet. It's going to soon. Let's go for a ride around the yard and see what this e-bike stuff is all about. All right, I just did a quick lap around the yard on that one. Now let's give my first e-bike a rip. Okay, there we go. Put it in eco mode. 
You guys on? You're recording? All right, let's see what this feels like. Oh, oh weird. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's the weirdest feeling ever. It's like someone's grabbing the back of your seat and pushing you. Oh, and this is just on low. Get out of town. Oh yeah. Anybody want to buy a Da Vinci? I'm sold. Get out of here. You still have to pedal going up though. But it is much nicer. All right, trail mode, boost. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh, this is sick. Dude, boost mode feels like someone just drop kicked you in the butt. Holy smokes. Brakes are good. Okay, this is ridiculous. I don't know if I'll ever use Eco now that I know what boost feels like. Dudes. Crazy. Let me get my other camera going here and I'll make some laps around it. Heading to the road, see if we can go fast. All right, eco, trail, boost mode. Oh my gosh. You just breathe on the pedals, it feels like you're gonna flip the thing over. There's high speed. I'm just fighting the wind or what? Oh yeah, I feel it slowing down. Once it hits 19, it runs out of boost. Interesting. So 19, I guess, is about all you get for miles an hour. Which is still fast. Need to adjust these brakes because when I pull them, they hit my finger. <sighs> Just the, the power. So sick. Good brakes. Oh, that's crazy. All right, what did we get here? We've done a mile this morning. 52 range, so we lost 10 miles on range, just screwing around there in seven minutes. <laughs> and I have to figure out how to undo this max mile per hour because I'll never hit 27 probably. Sweet. Okay, right, so there's one more cool feature I almost forgot to show you guys here, the walk assist. So you hold the down button here. You see it went to walk, right? Now if you hold the down button, it'll power the bike. So I'm gonna hold the front brakes and I'm gonna push the down button and watch this. Like it's burning out to help you go up hills. Then you let go of the truck toggle and it stops. How crazy is that? So let's go ahead and go up this hill right here. So no assist holding the button. You'll see the pedals will move. Like I can go up the hill one-handed, look at that. I'm not even, it's just pushing itself up the hill. 
let go. <laughs> there it goes. You feel it kick in. The pedals go. Crazy. It claims it'll do that up to two miles an hour. I'm not quite sure how you increase the speed yet. I don't know if you just push faster and it keeps up with you. But pretty sick. All right, guys, for me, this is a game changer right here. Not gonna lie. I have a desk job, so I don't get out very much. I have an eight year old, so I don't have a lot of energy and time. But my goodness, I think I'm gonna be able to keep up with my buddy Jeff a little better on his analog bike. <laughs> kind of the justification between buying this thing um, and being able to ride more with my eight year, eight year old, which would be a lot of fun, I think. Soaks the bumps up really good, not even trying. Pizarri did a great job putting it together. Thanks to everybody that helped along the way. Pretty stoked. There you go. Yeah, this is this is gonna be a lot more fun, without a doubt. Alright guys, like, comment, subscribe, check out the links down below in the description if you're interested in anything. And let me know what you think. I'm super happy with the comp. A um, little questionable on the front shocks. Um, maybe I can adjust them a little better. The rear one I didn't bottom out, so I'm pretty good with that. But the front one, I hope I don't have to change them someday. We'll go riding up on the mountains and then we'll find out for sure. But yeah, let me know what you think. Pretty stoked about this. Um, keep an eye out for a mountain biking video. So I'm going to hit the hills here soon and See if I can uh, do some riding and how fatigued I get this time. Love it. Thank you, Fazari. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one, guys. Peace.